What's up everyone? It's your boy Below Average Dude back with more Red Dead Redemption 2 today. On my way to go see Sadie. I wonder why John isn't one of Dead or Alive here. Wasn't he part of that robbery? Or I don't know. It's a big ass saloon, I know that. Hello there, sir. Is this your first time in my Hello, Sadie? Oh, John. Come sit down. Sure. You, uh, you got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. <laughs> and which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed. By a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, Maybe we can go rob him back. Is the money good? Yeah. It's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. We always got a ride ahead of us. <laughs> Let's go, girl. Follow me. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Ah, I love Sadie. Hope she's not online. Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. But it's not that. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. Ain't had any trouble. There's some squatters, but that's it for the most part. That's good. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. True. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides Uncle. Abigail? Ah. Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, you want to <laughs> talk about it? Well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting in San Denis. Weren't seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is going to be good for him. I always like Charles. You send him my best. I will. You know, you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. I've done that all before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Makes sense. Uh, the offer's there whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, 
He might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. Yeah. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. Well, he's out there. In some day? I hope we'll find him, but uh, not now. Come on. Red Dead Redemption. Of course, we're gonna find him. This way, same way Jack found Ross. That's probably get you killed, John. Going to look for Micah. Set up the start of Red Dead Redemption One. That's all the. That's what's gonna happen. That's how John get found. He goes to kill Micah. There's a spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. Arthur told you not to look back. Ah! Oh. I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. It makes so much sense. Arthur goes to kill Mike in revenge, and then Ross finds out. This is And sets out the events of Red Dead Redemption 1, which in turn makes Jack go to kill Ross. This game is just... I'm sorry, graphics matter to me now after playing this game. Come on, John. Help me find them. Minus the old school classic games. I think I see something. Yup. There they are, down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. I can't see anything. And that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? I don't know. Come on. Let's go follow them. Oh, okay, cool. So yeah, games before Red Dead Redemption 2, Graphics don't matter to me. It's all about gameplay and story, but now that's playing this graphics matter. I'm sorry. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. No excuse why games don't look like this today. All games don't have to look like this, but they gotta be up there. They'll be coming through here. Start shooting. No time to stop. Stay back from the edge. You won't get north through here. What are you doing, huh? Are you are you talking to me or like to Sorry, I ain't used to having anyone with me. I think Sadie's gonna be online. My guess is they'll stop up ahead. We can get a better look at them. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. I'll definitely join Sadie gang. It'll just be sad because 
I like Zadie and she'll never get over her dead husband. Zadie is definitely crazy. That's understandable from what she's been through. This might be our chance. Okay, cool. I'm strapped up. That's all that matters. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Uh, the rest of Langton's men, I think. <laughs> Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? <laughs> I got you. You're worth ten of them. <sighs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them, start shooting at them, or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. That's my call. Sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. I like this ranch's outfit. Black leather on. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Two guys below us. Let's get closer. I gotta go to the bank to make these payments or You can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. You just go for one, I'll get the other. Throwing knives don't work in real life. Why are they on to us? I don't see nobody. What are you shooting at? Oh, I see. I don't see anybody.
Oh crap. I'm gonna shot you, Sadie. Let's go. I feel like I shot, I had a shootout in the same valley before in Red Dead Redemption 1. In fact, I know we had... Bro, you ain't paid me from that last bounty. Relax, Amy. Are you with her? What's it look like? Come on, man. You bad, bad, bad woman. You should let me alone. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Effort. Oh, it's good riding with you, Sadie. I need to relieve myself. There'll be a bucket in your cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. <laughs> John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. You heard the lady. Thank you. I still protest my innocence. This woman ripped me out of my bed, kidnapped me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. John, would you be so kind as to shut him up? Don't listen to her. No, let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. <laughs> That's it. Pounding work ain't easy, John. No, but I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. 
You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand for our service. <laughs> Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for your ranch. Don't spread that around. Hi, I won't. But it would be good to have you along some more. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. <laughs> Here we are. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Ah. Bastard! The dogs can have what's left of you. I will help you with more bounty, Sadie. Watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. There's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank too? No, I'll uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well, if you need any more work, you can find me in town, or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. I'll just take out a loan.